My name is Sarah Ennis, I'm Professor of Genomics in the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Southampton and I'm based here at the University Hospital Southampton. I lead a genomic informatics group which means that we deal with large amounts or big data but in the area of clinical genomics. We have access to a huge number of patients here with various diseases common diseases such as asthma, diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease, as well as very rare diseases or Mendelian diseases. And we look at vast amounts of genetic data in these individuals to try and improve prognostics, diagnostics and personalised healthcare. I first came to Southampton in 1998, so the last century. Um, I joined as a research assistant and I soon undertook a PhD under the supervision of Professor Pat Jacobs, Professor Newton Morton and Professor Andy Collins. I was hugely attracted to this because at the time these uh, individuals were internationally leading in their field. I started out my PhD I think in 1999 on a part-time basis and completed that in 2003. After completing my PhD, I took on a postdoctoral position, uh, continuing in the area of genetic epidemiology, where I was able to use my newly found skills in research and programming, statistics, and interrogating large amounts of genetic data, and apply those to various projects um, as a postdoctoral researcher. I was lucky enough to climb through the field. I was awarded a, a career postdoctoral fellowship from uh, the Faculty of Medicine and that helped to get in getting me stand on my own two feet and uh, start on the road to becoming an independent career researcher. I did take uh, 10 months out to have twin sons uh, but came back and the field of genomics was very very busy and rapidly advancing. Um, at that stage I was a lecturer and was actually promoted uh, while on maternity leave to senior lecturer and last year was promoted to my own personal chair and as a professor of genomics. Within the genomic informatics group we conduct a wide range of research projects all analysing and interrogating large amounts of genetic data from individuals. Usually these are individuals who are recruited from University Hospital Southampton or it could be collaborations with other institutes nationally or internationally where um, we work together to amass patient groups. I'm actually chief investigator of a study of paediatric inflammatory bowel disease. So in this study we're recruiting children from this hospital who've been diagnosed with either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis in childhood years ranging from 2 to 18 years. We're analysing vast amounts of genetic information in these individuals in order to better stratify them so that we can feed back to the consultants what we think might be the specific causes that are bringing about disease in these children. We publish our research in a wide range of journals from The Lancet, Nature Genetics, um, with regards to inflammatory bowel disease, one of the best journals that we publish there is Ink and Gut. Um, we have a collaboration with Stanford University at the moment where we've identified a new gene in inflammatory bowel disease and we're submitting that paper to the New England Journal of Medicine. Our research depends on collaborating with a wide number of institutes, both nationally and internationally. Um, so we work with the University of Oxford, University of London, uh, Imperial College, Institute of Cancer Research, Univers University of Edinburgh, many other places around the UK. Internationally we work with centres in Holland, um, genome centres in Germany, some of the universities in Australia. We've recently started a collaboration with Columbia and we're working with two universities there to study both syndromic and non-syndromic cleft, cleft lip and palate. We're lucky to have a diverse group of PhD students in the genomic informatics group. We have about five individuals doing MPhil PhDs at the moment. Um, about three of those are getting close to graduating and work, working very busily on their final publications. Uh, we have some new individuals about to start in October this year. Uh, we also have some people who are clinically qualified and they're undertaking MD PhDs um, and those are in diverse fields of paediatrics and nephrology. 
This year we've had some really good MSc students undertaking projects within the group and I hope that will continue as part of the new master's programme in genomic medicine whereby we expect a number more of those individuals will be joining our group to conduct their projects. As part of the big data initiative in healthcare, we're obviously interested in com contributing our expertise in genetics and genomics, but that is by no means the whole picture in understanding disease, why it happens, why it's more severe in one individual than another, why one drug works better in one individual than another. So we need to layer our genetic data on top of lots of other types of data. This could be transcriptomics, it could be epigenetic, it could be environmental data such as the diet. And it is as surprisingly difficult to gather those information. So we would like to work with industry to try and expand our access to electronic healthcare technology in order to incorporate those data types into our wider mathematical analyses. I actually feel really lucky that I get to work in genetics and genomics. Uh, the reason being that every day is different and the field has evolved so rapidly, even over the course of my relatively short time working on, in it. When I joined in 1998, we knew a handful of genes causing some Mendelian disorders. Since then, the human genome sequence has been unraveled and the number of genes we've identified that cause disease has increased exponentially. And so that means there's been an exponential increase in the number of patients and individuals who get sick that we're able to help.